Hello, it's Hugh Brewster here, and I want to talk to you today about my latest book, which is entitled Unsinkable Lucille. And it's a subtitle is How a Farm Girl Became the Queen of Fashion and Survived the Titanic. And it's a true story about a girl who grew up in Guelph, Ontario, um, about 160 years ago, uh, named Lucy Sutherland. And she eventually went to England as a teenager, um, became, knew how to sew clothes, because in Guelph, back in those days, you had to make your own clothes. And she knew how to sew. She began sewing for friends, uh, and eventually opened um, a fashion house. Um, that became very successful and very famous. Uh, she was a single mom, so she had to support herself. Um, and it's, it's a quite incredible story. Um, and of course, she eventually opened a salon in New York. And that became so successful that when she was living in Paris, having opened a successful salon there, she got a telegram saying, you need to come to New York. Uh, we need to find a larger salon and we have one for you to see. So, as she said in her memoir, I took the next available boat. The boat was the Titanic. How she survived the Titanic and the scandal afterwards, which really ruined her husband's life. They were both blamed for having escaped in a lifeboat that was less than half full when so many poor people um, died on the Titanic. Um, it was very traumatic, but she survived that. Um, and went on to uh, live in New York and become the most famous fashion designer in the world. So it's quite a remarkable story, a true story. Uh, I decided to do it with Laurie McGaugh because she's an amazing illustrator and a good friend of mine. And we're both from Guelph. Um, so there was a, a real connection with the story of Lucy uh, Lady Duff Gordon. She married an English aristocrat, which is how she became known as Lady Duff Gordon. So that's why we decided to write this book about her. And uh, it's not only an incredible story, uh, it is also a story that I hope young readers will find to be inspiring. Because no matter the hardships that she faced, um, being a woman at a time when women were expected to stay at home, and she started a business, um, all the things that she did, surviving you know, blame and scandal, um, it, it's an amazingly inspiring story, and that's why we call her Unsinkable Lucille, because she wouldn't allow things to sink her. So it's illustrated with wonderful pictures by Laurie, plus archival pictures from the period. Uh, and uh, we will be giving talks about this book this fall in schools and libraries. So we hope to see you um, and come and talk to you uh, about the amazing life of this remarkable woman. Um, so thanks for listening and hope to see you all soon. Take care.